Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I want to answer a question that is popping up quite a lot on my Adobe XD series. In case you are not aware of this, I have started a 30 days of Adobe XD challenge where I'll be pushing out 30 videos and I'm trying to learn Adobe XD as much as possible, exploding it the best I can. Previously, I was a sketch user. Now I'm switching on to Adobe XD and I'm taking you along with me in this entire journey of learning Adobe XD. So in case you are still not aware of it, go ahead, follow that playlist. So there is a one question that is popping up by a variety of users, Android users, iOS users and others as well. And they are all asking that, hey Desh, how we can export this into Adobe XD, XML files in Android or maybe a NIP file in iOS. Now, yes, definitely we can export all the graphics, assets into PNGs and SVGs and all of that in Adobe XD. But I talked with one of that student uh, in my Facebook page and he wanted me to show some way so that I can export the entire uh, login screen or whatever we are designing in XD into an XML file so that he can use that in Android. Now in case you are also having the same kind of question, I think we need to clear up some of the ground basics about designing and programming and moving from design to programming because if I'm not going to clear that, who will? You need to understand one very essential thing about the design first approach. Now, when you create some basic apps or you are learning the things, it's okay to just directly go ahead and code the stuff and design something amazing and awesome. But when you, when you work actually in the professional manner, when you design something as of your own product or maybe for a client, it always is a design first approach. And it's always essential to have a design first approach. Let me show you why. I'm going to try and explain the concept with the help of this whiteboard. We don't use whiteboard, but in this concept, it's essential. So let's just say this is you, a big developer. I know this doesn't look like any developer, but let's just say you are this developer and your boss or your client comes up and say, this is a login screen. So design a login screen for me. Now what you go, you go ahead and take your design, your coding skills, whatever it is that in Android, web or iOS, you just make a login screen. You go and move up this point. And uh, what you realized that your client says or your boss says, this is not a good login screen, design something else. Then you go ahead, use your again skills and design and reach at this point because this is all login screen. And then you realize that, hey, boss says, you know what, this is not working out. Just change the design or change the entire view. You just go ahead and design and move on to this point. Again, these are all login screens. So the whole point of the concept is, you know what you are about to create. You are about to create a login screen, but you don't have any desired things which you really want to achieve. You don't have the color palette. You don't have what kind of buttons I'm gonna use, what kind of format, where I'm gonna put the logo. You, you don't have anything at all. With the help of such things like Adobe XD, Sketch, Photoshop, Illustrator, what we try to do is set out a point on this login screen. And this is the point where everybody agrees. Everybody says, hey, everything is perfect, design, uh, your code, your color, your, not code, your color scheme, your button layout, everything is awesome. And what we try to do with the help of our coding and programming skills, we try and make sure we reach to this point now. Now, yes, there is no shortcut of reaching to, to that point. Uh, you have to do that with XML, uh, in Android or in the NIP file in iOS, there's no shortcut way of right click and export that as an Android file or an iOS file. But now we have a goal that we really want to achieve. And that's exactly where we are headed to. This saves a lot of time for designers, a lot of time for coders, and you don't have to provide much of the reputation. That's why it's always essential to follow the design first approach. I hope this example has cleared up a lot of things now that we understand that reaching up at a certain point is very important and for reaching that point we first need to understand what is that point and that's why we always prefer design first approach and you can do designing it's not about Adobe XD you can design your things in Sketch, Adobe XD, Photoshop, Illustrator whatever is the choice of your software you can just go ahead with that. Now on top of that you can have additional things like Zeppelin or maybe Envision whatever you are trying to use you can also just use your assets on that plugins and softwares and websites as well and then move on to there once you have a design perfectly ready and you are all set then we have a goal to reach and that goal is achieved using a variety of techniques and tools in android in ios or in web or whatever that is so remember one thing design first approach is always good for creating professional products and uh, you should learn a little bit of designing not much but a little bit I know this video was really, really short, but it, it explains a really good concept of design first approach and then moving into the code part. But again, you can always learn coding part first and then can move on design and code first as well. But it, it was all about to clear one very fundamental and essential concept that you guys were asking quite a lot in the comment section. 
I hope I was able to clear that up quickly and easily. And that's all I wanted to say in this particular video. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and visit my website, learncodeonline.in. Let's catch you up in the next video.